Hey everybody, um, excuse my voice during this video. I have horrible allergies. I'm not exactly sure what I'm allergic to, but it's something out there. So that's why I've been absent the last week or so, but starting to clear up or I don't know really what it is, but I'm starting to feel better. So I wanted to make this video. I think some of you, if you follow me on Twitter or you watched one of my more recent videos, you noticed that I had my nails shellacked. And I wanted to tell you about my experience and what my final thoughts are. Now, I will say, um, they are not on, I, my nails are not shellac. These are my nails now. I did soak them off a couple days ago. I just couldn't take it anymore. So I never really got a chance to film the process. I do have them on in a couple of videos that are, if you see my nails are French manicured, that's the shellac. So let me tell you a little about how the process works and what my final thoughts are. So the concept of shellacking is you're not going to get your nails any longer. They take your normal nails, however length they are, mine are a variety of lengths, so you're not going to, it's not like we're with an acrylic where they can build the nail longer. So they take your real nails and um, they basically give you a manicure with a special nail polish that is baked on in a UV light. So they put a base coat on, you stick your hands in a UV light two minutes under the UV lamp, they take it out, they put your two coats of polish on, in between each coat, you stick your hands back in, you do your top coat, and you're done. So, the benefits are that it's supposed to last longer than a regular manicure, and they're very shiny. Those are the benefits. But, here's my feelings on them. I know people have been on here raving how wonderful it is, and it does have its uses. I think there are two very, very specific times when I think it would be a great idea to get your nails select. But my conclusion is it's not for me, except for these two specific circumstances. First of all, um, where I live, it costs $35 plus tip, which I think is a little pricey because it only lasts about two, two to three weeks. So if this is something that you're considering doing regularly, you're looking at $70 a month plus tip for nails. I think it's a little high. Um, here's where I think it's a good idea. If you've just had your acrylic nails taken off and you want to give your nails a tiny little extra edge of strength, like a minuscule amount as they're growing out, maybe getting your nails shellac one or two times might not be a bad thing. It doesn't really lend a lot of extra strength to your nails though, which was a downfall for me because in my head I felt like I had gone through this huge process and so it was almost like getting acrylic nails, so I found myself using my nails more as tools that ended up breaking my nails. So it gives you almost like a false sense of security when you have shellac on. So that was a, that was a negative, that was a con. The other um, instance I think where it's a good idea to get a, a shellac nails is if you have a special event coming up and you don't want to worry about your nail polish chipping. We had a special event in our family over a weekend and I didn't want to have to worry about my nails chipping so I got it done the Monday or Tuesday before that weekend and I knew my nails would look fine through the weekend and I didn't have to worry about it. So that was a great um, circumstance to get oh, this edits well. I filmed the whole video and then realized that in the background while I was talking to you, look he was pooping right in the middle of my family room. So I just thought I'd share that with you because that's pretty funny. Um, anyway, hopefully I've edited that part out for you. So I was telling you about the two main circumstances when I think the shellacking is a good idea. The first being um, if you have a special event coming up and you don't want to worry about your nails chipping over the course of a few days. And that goes hand in hand with if you're going on vacation and you don't want to tag bring along nail polish and nail polish remover and all that stuff getting your nails shellac before a trip is a great idea because as long as it's a neutral color that goes with everything that you're wearing you don't have to think about your nails. However, even though those are all benefits I decided that shellacking really isn't for me unless I'm going on vacation or I have a special event coming up. For my day-to-day -day nail use I have so many nail polishes that I love. I love changing my nail polish out every three or four days at most. Um, I will admit I didn't even make it to the full two weeks. I had them on about a week, a couple days more than that, almost a week and a half, and I couldn't take it anymore because I just bought some new nail polishes that I wanted to try. So I put nail polish right over it. I will say nail polish does not really stick well to shellacking, so best to just soak it off. Um, I have on right now Spa Ritual um, Gold Dust. It's already chipping a little, but 
I've been beating them up. I've been gardening with them. Um, so in the end, I'm not a fan of shellacking. I think it's expensive for what it is. I don't like putting my hands in UV light over and over and over. Um, even though there's absolutely no evidence that shows that it's horrible, I, it just it can't be good. Soaking in acetone frequently also to get it off I don't think is, is the best thing for your skin or nails. So while it does have its uses as far as regular nail routine, I wouldn't choose to do it. I think if you're going to go to that much effort, you might as well just put acrylic nails on. It's less expensive. It lasts longer. Yes, your nails get ruined, but it depends on what you're doing it for, I guess. If you want to have the look of nice nails, acrylics will do that for you with no maintenance. So I'm going to stick with my natural nails for now and just do my own, but um, that's my opinion. So if you have a different experience, um, you know, or you agree, or you think I'm a wackadoo, just <laughs> right below. And um, I look forward to hearing from you and uh, hearing about your shellac experiences. Oh, and I use the CND shellac um, system, not the OPI. I know there's a couple others as well. Spa Ritual does one too now, but I did the CND one. And um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.